LCD screen which is a 17 inch made by AUO M170 EN05 uh, show you how to upgrade to our newest uh, LED backlight series called UB70 series uh, this is well first of all we had to remove this metal film there's couple two screws on each side holding this metal film just use a small Phillips screwdriver and uh, take it out this is small okay one two and this is the other side Now you can uh, remove this this metal thing. So you by using a uh, small flathead screwdriver, we do it one side at a time. Make sure you can see on it. One side at a time. And this side. Take it out, see, take out this metal film, set it aside. Now, the metal film is already taken out. We also have to remove this metal cover and three screw stack holes a uh, <coughs> LVDS interface modules. <coughs> Because we're gonna move a, uh, we move out a uh, liquid glass before we can access to the backlight lamp assembly. So one, remove this. You kind of like see this? Push it down a little bit because the click. You see the click here, so you have to push it down. Okay, take it out like this. The best way would be just hold this upper part, take it out. Now, this is a liquid glass, okay. We're gonna set this glass aside for a second, all right. Now, this is the backlight assembly. Uh, you see a, uh, the first thing you see is a white, looks like a white paper. Actually, that's, a, that's what we call as a backlight diffusion sheet. Make sure the light spread evenly. So, in order to remove this sheet, we still have to remove this plastic film. <clears throat> so, do the same thing. Use a small flathead screwdriver. And do it one side at a time. One side at a time. Okay. until you take out all four sides okay one side at a time Take it out. Okay. Now, here's the thing I want to show you. At the beginning of the video, uh, you can see I was wearing a cloth. The reason for this cloth is that we, I don't want to leave my fingerprint on this diffusion sheet. Because the fingerprint, if you lift the fingerprint here, if we, when you fire the screen, you can see your fingerprint. And then also there's a dirt here, you need to clean it. 
But one thing before you clean, well, you don't have to clean it now, but when you put it back, you make sure you clean it. But one thing I want to show you here is that, you see, this is a light guiding glass. This is a backlight was mounted here. As you can see, this is two wires here. But one thing, this is, for, for example, this screen has a three division shape. You, they are, you gotta make sure they're in order. So in other words, means that there's a, they have a mark here, so you gotta put it in place. Basically, uh, I would suggest that you just hold the three sheet up and just set it aside. So when you put it back, you just make sure it's clean and put it back like this. Make sure it match the marks on both hands. See, as I was, this one, this side, right side is a little wider than the other side. This one is a little bit narrow. So now we're gonna set aside this diffusion sheet. <coughs> now we're gonna access the backlight lamp. Here's a backlight lamp. Okay. Looks like we're gonna still have to use a flathead screwdriver. You see this? We're gonna take it out. Okay. Take the light glass out. All right. Okay. There we go. One side time. Okay. Now, we take it out like this. Take out, you see this? One, take out two. Okay. We set aside the light. We're gonna set it outside. All right. Now, here is two backlight assembly for the 17 inch. Uh, because of this, have a four lamp, so it gives us enough space to mount our LED inside of the reflectors, right? You just mount it right back, use the old reflect metal enclosure as a heat sink. But before we mount it back, we have to uh, test the LED first. Well, by the way, this is our newest. Okay, this is our newest uh, backlight series for 19 and uh, for 17 and 19 inch XVGA screens. As you can see, it's a little bit different. It's much thicker and bigger than uh, the 15 inch smaller screens uh, UB54 series. Okay. Wow, we're gonna test it. We're gonna connect a. Uh, this is the same controller, converters. LED converter. We're gonna connect it to it. Yeah. Test, test it. Make sure everything works fine before we put it back. So make sure all LED lights up. And let's see. Oh. Okay. Oh, LED lights up. Good. Ready to go. And that's I. First thing, we need to remove the backlight lamp out. It's quite easy. Uh, as you can see, the light, the wires. What I would like to do is just simply go cut this. Uh, tips that holding the the low voltage return wires just cut it and cut it like that take it out easy do the same thing on the other one uh, cut it make sure you can see cut it okay cut it what I mean cut it, I don't mean cut lot wires, I mean cut the tips, the high temperature tips. Slice it and uh, take it out. Easy. Well, this one. <clears throat> Alright. So but when you take it out, you make sure you, you gotta remember where the wire coming out. This is the this was like this before. Huh? See, the wires on this side, so we're gonna we should mount it like this. Right? So it's quite easy. You can just put it in the inside reflector, make sure you put it in the in the center. 
Yeah, and that's it. So now the easy part. Just remove the double side tape cover, and then you're gonna put it. Right in the middle. Just push it down, push it down, push it down, push it down. Make sure I make good contacts between the UB70 series to a metal reflector. You see that? 